Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Christelle Martinet, and um, this morning I got up and I uh, decided to shuffle the cards, and I wanted to open the um, New Orleans Voodoo Tarot for myself to get a message for the day. And um, the two cards that came up made me um, wonder and think. And I thought, well, let me uh, before I pull a third card to clarify, let me uh, or a fourth and fifth card. <laughs> I don't know. Let me. Um, tape it and I would like to share this with you because it reminds me of the voodoo card that I pulled at the end of uh, the um, new moon uh, zodiac signs to crown the other um, the other um, readings the zodiac readings now what I found is the first card is a, a Congo Congo the Congo suit it's Ai, Aida Uedo. Now the Aida Uedo is a um, is a ray is considered um, a rainbow. Okay, it's a considered a rainbow. Here you have it's probably not very visible in in the with this light, but there are all rainbow colors around this dancer. This is a um, a dancer with a snake, a snake dancer, and. Um, the, the, the rainbow is a bridge. It's uh, considered a bridge between the visible world and the invisible world, and where the great invisibles, the so-called great invisibles, um, can walk. They walk, um, and in this rainbow, there is water as the most important creative force. Now, this card shows, as I said, a, a snake dancer, and in the dance she combines she joins with the snake to the point where you don't even see the face of the dancer we don't know if it's a male or female um, because we don't have any clue uh, by this image and um, there she, she or he is joined so closely uh, to the um, snake that the snake has a very strong ability, the possibility to exert pressure, but that's just part of the snake's nature. Um, and this force, this this constricting force, can use as it, it can be used as a means of um, contact, of course, but communication as well. And it gives us profound. Um, joining physical joining psychological joining spiritual joining that contact that pressure means you're joining forces let's say the pressure and i'm not talking about the pressure to the neck the pressure that communication um is the key use of snakes in in voodoo culture and in voodoo trances as well now what the card invites us to do is to um, contemplate on the nature of pressure. Um, the waters are um, can be considered um, a menstrual cycle. Okay? Um, in one of the many uh, manifestations that water uh, comes in in this culture, but this element flows around the body and it exerts pressure on the body. And I remember the magic mirror uh, card where there were invisible and visible forces and there was a tension there and there's contact here. And um, the idea of the pressure on the body made me, of course, take another card. And um, because for me, it was not a I, I didn't understand if it was contact, pressure in a negative sense, or communication simply. All right, let me see then. then. Let me show you then that the next card I pulled was another Congo card, another water sign. Okay, so two waters, and I was starting to worry. <laughs> and this is a Laplace card, and it is equal to, let's say, the night. It's a water sign, but of the uh, four nights, this is considered the airy part of water so um, this night has the power of steam and we know that the pressure of steam is very useful if it's controlled but then if not controlled in it can be it can build and create extreme danger and extreme harm um, 
the picture, the card itself shows the knight, the agun, 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 uh, splitting water drops into two over the crossroads. These crossroads symbolize the crossroads between where the visible and the invisible domains meet and the drops then over the sword fall into a puddle of water that mirror the Ogun, the night. And you could see, maybe perhaps not in this light, but um, it is showing, you can see the pants of the Ogun reflected. Um, and so there's this mirroring again. It describes a relationship between the um, visible and the invisible worlds because one mirrors the other. And the characteristic um, explained by this card, the characteristics of the personality of the card itself are calm, it's a very calm surface, covering a fiery, subtle, secret interior, secret violence, and, and a sort of craft, you know, I would call, I would say witchcraft. Um, then I was thinking, well, I didn't. I was afraid to go take another card, so um, I'm, I'm going to do that with you. Um, I had shuffled, of course, these cards, and um, I'll do that again. Let's see if I could um, pick one. out I was practically you know I was, I was sort of you know I, I came um, out with the idea of using these cards this morning because I needed to, to, to get deep understanding you know today I I felt as if you know I, I didn't sleep that well and I had very odd very odd dreams and I thought mm, what's happening today let me get up and go out for a run and uh, and relax my spirits Well, this card, another water, deluge. Deluge is the water flowing down. Um, okay, this is the 16th uh, major arcana, so you can see it almost looks like the tower. It's a sacrifice card, the blasted tower, okay? Uh, it depicts a um, lightning striking the an electrical tower and the Mississippi River. This is the Mississippi River and the force of the storm drives the river over the levee and the levee breaks and a car and a house are swept away. Um, this talks about sacrifice, okay, like, like um, often the, the tower card and, and normal tarot decks are uh, talk about, um, but it is the waters of the soul, all right, the waters of the soul are, are very rich, they're very deep. Um, they're very rich, they're very deep, it, and, and here it's as if the waters of the soul are stirred, you know, in a calabash. You could see this in the culture by Thibonange, which represents the will, and Grobonange, which represents love, and they join together in this card. Um, it's interesting because um, the waters reach out and they recover the land taken from them. Um, it, and in this sense, the waters are claiming a return, that they're returning. This represents um, uh, basically a, the return. The, the blue sky reflects the blue waters and then we hear again there's this mirroring effect, as above, so below. You know, and it almost gives, it's, that's the message of the, um, of the magician, you know, so these are magical waters here. Um, the images of the card are taken from an area of um, New Orleans called uh, Riverbend. And it's uh, this area uh, between the levee and the river is a popular site for, for rituals. Um, 
it's always good to remember when we think about the waters, and this is um, this is the third water card, and it's trying to tell us something that, um, like the city of New Orleans, that most of the city of New Orleans is below sea level. Most of what we're looking for is beneath the surface today. So sacrifice and and sacred things, you know, sacred and sacred, they come from the same root. Um, to sacrifice something is to make sacred. The waters will come sooner or later, whether hidden or unbidden. Um, they, they will, um, it's as if, you know, there is in the calabash an emptiness. And it's the emptiness of self. Uh, there's the sacred cap, cap, calabash and it's empty, right? Nothing moves within the calabash. Um, if you create something, it's to bring something from nothing. But this is the work of angels, all right? And, um, and what the voodooist does is just like the sacred calabash. It's empty and it's open to creation. It's open to the touch of angels. Um, and in this card, we see that the self has been clean, has been washed clean by waters. The mind, its beliefs, whether they're true or false, can embrace only a small part of existence. The waters flow within and through all. So uh, the mind can only help you to a certain degree. This card's telling us that you can only know uh, a bit, not everything. And the self is like, in this case, a child with a, a dust, playing in the dust, playing in the mud, playing in the dust. And the waters come to refresh and empty and wash. Um, and wisdom is what we have left. And the waters are the guardian of wisdom. Okay, so we need to be washed over. We need to cleanse. We need that return and if you resist this is the, what the card calls us on to contemplate if you resist those waters it's as if you were clinging to dust ladies and gentlemen i hope this was of <laughs> some help um, i do appreciate um, you being here with me and i will be reading again with you soon namaste my friends have a great one bye bye